Eddie Van Halen folklore. There are just so many crazy stories out there. Now, I'm going to get into some of those in just a sec. But what I'm doing today is I'm building some humbuckers based on some of these myths and stories. Now, this is just for a bit of fun, but spoiler alert, if these humbuckers actually do turn out to sound pretty good, there will be a link in the description so you can find them on our website. There's a video I want to make soon comparing different humbucker split circuits, and I needed to build some humbuckers for this video. Anyway, back when I was designing Echo Coils, one of the coils was wound exactly to 5,150 winds. That was the perfect amount that gave it the sort of sound I was after. And I remember at the time going, kind of familiar sort of number, and then it sort of dawned on me, oh yeah, it's the Van Halen thing, I had a bit of a laugh, whatever. But then I started doing a bit of research into it, and wow, man, I uncovered so much crazy stuff. And this is just like the tippy top of the iceberg. Here's just a few little bits and pieces that I found. Right, so Eddie embedded a secret code or hidden message in his guitar solos that fans have tried to decode for like years. Okay, Eddie had a secret custom built guitar that could tune itself automatically. Well, I suppose that has actually been invented. So back when that rumor came out, it was probably pretty crazy. If you have any of this sort of folklore, even on other bands, not specifically Van Halen, I am so addicted to this stuff now. Just put some stuff down in the comments. I will read it. Seriously, I just find this stuff absolutely fascinating. Some folklore suggests that Eddie had a custom amplifier that responded to his voice commands. Now that is just, that is absolutely hilarious. I mean, I would pay money to go and see the band that comes to town with the guy that has the voice operated amp. If you can imagine an amp blaring at full volume and this guy on stage just crazily rage screaming at his amp to change channels. Change channels! Have you even tried to attempt that on a Google speaker? Hey Google, turn up the bass. Got it. Check out this Ace of Bass radio mix on Spotify. Eddie's innovative guitar designs were inspired by alien technology. Ooh. Eddie Van Halen's guitars were sourced from another dimension. That one's actually pretty cool. Eddie could control his guitar with his mind. Eddie could influence the weather with his guitar solos. Now amongst all that craziness, there are some more pickup specific stories now apart from the one where his pickup bobbins were supposed to be wound with um some sort of ghost wire i found one myth that claims eddie found some sort of mathematic sequence or formula hidden in the number 5150 and that he got some secret humbuckers made where the cores were wound exactly to 5150 wines and that that number 5150 is some sort of golden ratio when it comes to pickup making so what I decided to do was build a pair of humbuckers winding the bobbins exactly to 5,150 winds. I also went for a different mix of coil wire gauges based on other myths and rumors that I found out there. Now almost all the parts that go into making these pickups is made in the USA, even the screws. Now you might not know this, but a lot of pickups out there, even though they say made in the USA, the parts that make those pickups aren't actually made in the USA, which was quite shocking when I found that out actually. Now. EVH is all about the Elnico 2s. I know he used Elnico 5s in some of his pickups, but predominantly is Elnico 2. So these rough cast Elnico 2s are made in the UK. They're really nice. Apparently, Eddie's came from some sort of asteroid that he found. I don't have any asteroids laying around here, so I'm just going to stick with these for now. I'm also using these really nice covers. Now, these particular covers have pretty much zero impact on the tone. Now I know Eddie mostly used uncovered pickups, but I just really prefer covers. And also obviously you have to pop these. Now I did read an interview where Eddie actually claimed to have invented potting, but it was actually Seth Lover back in the mid fifties, I think around about when Eddie was born. Right, these are all done now. I've installed them in the guitar. Let's test them and see what they sound like. Okay, it's time to get cracking into these tests. Now, if you like the sort of stuff, please hit that subscribe button. Obviously, next video, I am going to be doing a whole bunch of split humbucker comparisons using these exact pickups. That's the whole point of this video, and that's why I'm making this video today is pretty much for that next one. And also, over at my fourth wall page, kind of like Patreon, basically, I've got a little bit of extra info for the Plus members over there. So go over there and check that out if you're a Plus member there. Anyway, let's crack into these tests. Right, so we're going to be doing some clean tones. So first up, the neck humbucker.
That is pretty nice. That's a nice, clean sound. Yeah, really tasty. Okay, so here's the bridge. It's actually pretty nice. I don't normally use the bridge pickup on a like a clean sound like this, but that's actually pretty good. And this is both at the same time. Really cool, I actually split the, the neck one as well. We're gonna be looking at those obviously in the next video coming up, but this is an enhanced split circuit. Yeah, really nice. Okay, so let's move on to some like edge of breakup overdrive sort of sounds. Okay, overdrive sounds, here we go, neck pickup. All right, so let's go to the bridge. Man, nice. Okay, that split sounding in. I've just got the next split at the moment. Lovely. Okay, so let's move on to some higher gain sort of stuff. Here's the neck pickup under high gain. Alright, so let's go to the bridge. I wish I knew a little Van Halen stuff, I don't sort of play a lot of that sort of stuff. Uh, what about... Uh... So when you're designing pickups or anything like that, for that matter, normally you go through a process of building them, listening, testing, making changes, and then sort of moving on to the next prototype and the next prototype till you finally get the finished product. Now. Um, I, I don't believe in any of this sort of myth stuff, by the way. It's just for a bit of fun. Initially, I just needed some pickups for this next video that I'm making. I didn't, I wasn't planning on making pickups that were gonna sound any good, but these sound really good. These sound actually fantastic. I had some really expensive pickups on this guitar. This is one of my older guitars, about it's about 30 years old, that I thought I'd never pull out of this guitar. And these, uh, these are the only ones I've made of this, by the way, and these are replacing what was in there now. The things I like about these pickups is that they have a really balanced sound. So the neck pickup has definitely a lot of muscle, but it also has a nice top end in there as well. The back pickup has the right amount of bite, but it still has that push, 
which I was quite surprised with because quite often if you do have pickups that push the front end of your amp it's coupled with a loss of that top crisp chiminess that you get which is just not missing here at all um, I've never built pickups in this way before uh, where I've played around with different wide gauges within the pickup itself. I know it's been done before by loads and loads of people, it's just not something I've done. I really like the results of these pickups. Like, um, quite surprising actually, not something I was really expecting. Like I said, I just needed some for this next video. That's been a really worthy experiment and I think that's one of the great things about YouTube and the fact that I am doing a few of these videos is it gives me this freedom to be able to just create things um, if I wasn't making this next video about split humbuckers, I would have just never built these and now after playing them, that would have been such a shame. I absolutely love these pickups. It's just such the weirdest thing. Now, like I said, I don't believe in any of that uh, myth stuff, folklore stuff. I think it was just, just one of those things where everything came together and it was right, but there's nothing I'd change about these. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for the next one. It's going to be really interesting going through a few different these split circuits with my my five switch switcher so I'm going to have to wire or hardwire this into my switcher so I can actually um, split these pickups in all the different ways that I want to. I mean there's so many ways you can get a single coil sound out of a humbucker. And you have a great week and we'll catch you in the next video.